educational technology involves teaching with technology and teaching with tools. And when we talk of teaching with tools, we are simply talking about non-digital and some traditional tools that we have. And of course, the recent or the modern ICT tools. In this session, we'll discuss about the non-digital and traditional as well as the ICT tools. We'll discuss about how we utilize them in teaching for learning and some of the issues and challenges that we encounter in using them. Research shows that 90% of learning is visual and attention span of our students lasts only for about 15 to 20 minutes. Students often use mobile devices and they study about 40 minutes more each week than those who don't. Now, more than 70% of mobile students use applications or apps that allow them to study with flashcards and some quizzes online, while 60% of our students are willing to pay for an app that supports learning. In higher education, digital technology can offer an experimental space that provides a pedagogical experience, an environment where students can learn at their own pace. Content presented in multiple modalities, graphs, arts, interactive learning, reinforcement, and video tutorials to create the illusion of non-mediation. Content presented in small chunks offers an agile, up-to-date information. Recent technologies has changed the paradigm of education from consumption, creation, to collaboration. Consumption, we consume all the knowledge and information that we gather from these new technologies and we should be able to create something new from this information and we should be able to collaborate to others or share to others what we have created. It's no longer the multiple choice world. There is a need now for big thinking. There is now an explosion of knowledge, new globalized technology-driven order. There is more complex wide of problem that we face now involving technology. In teaching, we must be concerned with what technology migrant schools prefer for their instructional materials. We must be concerned what the end users or our students actually need. And we teachers must be able to match this need and this migration concern of the schools with what we are teaching, what we can use, and what we can actually produce, and what we can offer to our students. Teaching involving educational technology is actually anchored on three important things. One is learning teaching strategy. The second one is the mode of interaction that is involved in the teaching learning. And the third one is the tool, the task, and the content. However, we have to consider also that in anything that we prepare for our students, there are three basic concerns that we have to consider, like whatever activities we give to our students. Is our focus on activity? Is our focus on communication? Or our focus is on content? If our focus is on activity, then we should provide our students with activities such as case study, conference session, constructivism, expedition-based, experiential learning, laboratory, or project activities. If our focus is to develop communication skills to our students, then we should provide activities such as cooperative learning, guided discussion, social learning, or Web 2.0. If our focus is on content, then we should do it by chapter, by lecture, by lesson, by module, by subject, by topic, by unit, or it could be science focus. Take note that for each of these activities that we would like to provide to our students, it has something to do also with the different subject contents that we would like to consider. If the course that we are teaching is mathematics, then it's more of activity focus. If it is science-based, then it is more of activity focus as well. If our focus is to develop critical thinking skills involving content, then these activities must be offered or given to students whose courses are heavy on content, such as Aralim Panlipunan or Kasaysayan or what we call as history and others. These activities are heavily dependent on the tools that we use. And our tools could either be non-digital or digital. Let's take, for example, boards. We are familiar with the green or black boards that goes well with chalks. We also have what we call the white boards, or a more pricey one, but portable. 
is we have the wall-to-wall -wall magnetized whiteboards. We have manila paper or brown paper as we call them when you need an extra board for concepts that you intend to use again. But your paper, in locals we call it cartolina, when you don't have whiteboards or want to keep an affinity map, for example, like the 4 by 48 by 200 feet roll white art paper. Non-digital tools could include painter's masking tape to adhere the butcher paper without ripping the room spade. It could be the flip charts. It could be multiple color packs of post-it notes or categorized affinity maps. It could be index cards. It could be Sharpies. It could be notebooks, writing pads, music notebook. It could be math notebooks. It could be an overhead projector, an opaque projector, a carousel for your slides, camera using roll films, a megaphone, a videotape such as your VHS or others. We can go on and on, but there are more tools now like the digital tools that are better than the non-digital tools. Like for example, the whiteboards. The whiteboards now has been replaced by the electronic whiteboard. An electronic whiteboard where we can use this for typing or writing, drawing, and which content can be saved, retrieved, or printed. We have the manila paper or brown paper when we need an extra board, as we say, and the butcher. And all of these activities can be now done using the whiteboard. We have computers now, the PCs, the laptops, the netbooks, the tablets, the smartphones. No need for painter's masking tape, the flip charts, nor the charts that we use. We can do them all using the computers. We can do highlighting. We can do tagging as well. We can do note taking, typing. We can do the things that we are doing using the traditional technologies that we have. The use of traditional approach or the non-digital technologies that goes with it and the digital alternative is the next discussion. If the skill that we want to develop is about note taking, the activity or the traditional approach that we will use is about handwritten notes. The digital alternative to this is brainstorming using text entry tools and word processing softwares, using other organizing digital technology such as the blooms and graphical organizers, the mind mapping tools. We have also the draw anywhere, the mind map, or we can make use of the I thoughts the Simple Mind X, the Whiteboard HD, it could be the iBrainstorm, or we can make use of word processing tools such as the Open Office, the Star Office Writer, the MS Word, the Adobe Buzzword, and such as collaborative note-taking tools such as Wallwisher, the iPad iWorks pages, the notes. We can also have the Stylus Text Entry, the tablet PCs, or we can have graphic tablets, blogging tools. For blogging, we have the microblogging tool. We have the posterios. Or we can even have the ebook creation tool if we want our students to create some activities related to journal writing. If the activity is about coming up with diagrams, mind maps, graphical organizers, and flowcharts, our traditional tool is to make use of butcher paper or diagrams and flowcharts. The alternative to this is using flowchart mind mapping software such as the Gliffy, the Draw Anywhere, the Whiteboard, the iBrainstorm, the iThoughts, the MindMeister, the iPad iThoughts, the Simple Mind X, or it could be the Whiteboard. If the activity is about formal writing, the tool is as simple as the paper. The alternative to this is using a word processing software or a desktop publishing software or an online publishing, such as we have the My eBook, we have the collaborative writing tools such as the Google Documents, the Zoho Documents, we have the Wiki. For drafting processes, the tool or traditional tool that we use is the drafting table. The alternative to this is we make use of word processing software, such as the Star Office, you have the MS Word, you have the Notepad, you have the Prime Yard Pad, we have the collaborative writing, such as the Google Documents, the collaborative note taking. If the activity is about formal communication, example is writing letters, then the electronic or digital 
alternative to this is to make use of the electronic mail and word process documents. Tools that we can use includes electronic mail, online solutions such as Microsoft Exchange, discussion boards, Blackboard or Web City, Star Office, MS Word, documents and other note takers such as Zoho, Open Office, Adobe Buzzword, the Impress, the PowerPoint, we have the Keynote, we have the SlideShare, the Voice Thread, the Prezi. For collaborative writing, we can make use of Google Documents, we can make use of Wiki or Zoho Documents, the Etherpad or the Protagonize. If the activity is about informal communications, the alternative to this is making use of electronic mail, instant messaging, or threaded discussion. So we have the Gmail, we have the Hotmail, we have the First Class Mobile Me, we have instant messaging, we can make use of Moodle, Outlook, Skype, iChat, we have the Ning, we have WordPress, we have Blogger, we have EduBlogs, we have Wallwisher, and of course we have the Twitter. If the activity is about research, research from the traditional using the encyclopedia, the alternative to this is using the online encyclopedia. We have online encyclopedias such as the Britannica Online, the Wikipedia and the Wikipedia Schools Offline. We can make use of the Citizen Doom. We have the Living Library that we can make use of. We have dictionaries, the online dictionaries like the Oxford Dictionary, the Cambridge Dictionary. We also have the iPad online dictionary. If the activity is about research from newspapers, journals, and magazines, the digital alternative to this is to come up or make use of the online newspapers. We can make use of web browsers, Internet Explorer, Safari, Opera, Firefox. We can have aggregators. We can make use of the Google Scholar as well. If we want to do bookmarking tools, then we can make use of iPad, router app, we have the BBC app, we have the TVNZ app, we have the News Pro app, and others. If the activity is about general research, then we can make use of some research engines and directories. So we can make use of Internet Explorer, the Ophira, the Firefox, and other online encyclopedias. If our, the activity is about presenting material, the traditional way is we simply ask the students to create posters. The digital alternative to this is to come up with presentation using presentation softwares, graphic tools, web publishing. We can make use of presentation software such as Impress, PowerPoint, Google Documents. We have the Open Office. We have the Voice Thread, the Slide Share. We have the Prezi. We have the iWorks, the Keynote, the Presenter, the Projector. We have the Remote Story Kit or we can make use of the Soho documents, or we can make use of the Microsoft Publisher, we can make use of the Adobe Page Maker, the Corel Draw, the Star Office, the Inkspace, and so many other free resources that we can make use. If the activity is about watching videos, the alternative to this is coming up or using the digitized resources. We can make use of the QuickTime, ask the students to use YouTube, the TeacherTube, or the TED.com, or we can make use of the VLC player. If the activity is about journals, the traditional way is to process journals, come up with diaries, and others. The digital alternative to this is to come up with blogs, microblogs, videos, and podcasts. For blogs, we can make use of Classroom Blog Master, First Class, WordPress, The Ning, The Blogger, EduBlogs, Bloglines. We have the Posterius, we have the WordPress. For microblogging, we can make use of Twitter. We can make use of TweakDeck for iPad. We can make use of Google Video Teacher TV, YouTube, TeacherTube. We can make use of Audacity, VoiceThread, Quick Voice. Outlook, Google Calendars for making or coming up with journal or we can make use of your iPad. If the activity is about homework and we want our students to come up with traditional homeworks like distributing homework and assignments, we can make use of traditional tool 
such as the pen and the paper, but the alternative to this is the electronic mail, posting to conferences, forums, wikis, and others. Digital tools that we can make use includes electronic mail, such as Gmail. We have, for wiki, we can make use of Moodle, we can make use of Blackboard, we can make use of Moodle. For threaded discussion, we have the first class Moodle, we have Blackboard. For blogs, we, has, we have Classroom Blog Master. We have WordPress. For microblogging and SMS, we can make use of Twitter, texting and SMS, online storage, Dropbox, iDisk, MobileMe, or even the mobile phones. If the activity is about collecting homework, collecting homework is simply asking the students to pass the paper or the activities of the students, the digital alternative to this is coming up or having a drop box. The tools that we can make use would include electronic mail, online solutions, again, such as Gmail and others. We have Microsoft Exchange. We can have threaded discussions as well and the Evernote. If the activity is about paper-based tests, then the digital alternative to this is having electronic tests. Electronic tests are now very common, and the tools that we can make use would include electronic testing tools such as Blackboard, Moodle, First Class Education, the LAMS, the Survey Monkey, the .exe, the SCORM objects, it could be hot potatoes, and others. If the activity is about voting and surveys, the traditional is that we use the paper base or show of hands. Digital tools would include online survey, and polling tools such as First Class Education, Moodle, SurveyMonkey, .exe, SCORM, Objects, part of Google Documents, that is the Google Forms. We can also make use of some survey tools associated with blogs, wikis, IM tools, and some microblogging and SMS such as Twitter, texting, and SMS. If the activity is about discussion, the digital alternative to this is using asynchronous and synchronous tools, the instant messaging, chat rooms, forums, threaded discussions, and wikis. The tools that we could use would include electronic mail. We can have online solutions, Hotmail, Gmail. We can have hosted solutions such as Microsoft Exchange. For wiki, we can make use of first class, Moodle, Ning, Blackboard. We can have wiki spaces. We can have wet paint wikis. For threaded discussion, we can have Moodle. We can have blogs as well. We can have social networking tools, we can have microblogging and SMS, audio and video conferencing, and collaborative writing tools. If the activity is about graphical organizer, the digital alternative to this is brainstorming mind mapping software. We can make use of mind mapping such as Bubblas, Gliffy, CMAP tools. We have Whiteboard, Inspiration, Kidspiration, we have Free Mind, we have Mind Manager, Microsoft Visual Smart Ideas, we have Compendium. We can also make use of iBrainstorm. But for collaborative writing, we can make use of Google Documents, Soho Documents, or Protagonize. If the activity is about time management, such as using personal project group or organization that involves time management activities for the students, the digital alternative to this is using the calendaring tools, project and task management software, such as the Outlook, the Outlook Express, the First Class, the project management tools such as the Gantt Project, the MS Project, the Open Project, or we can make use of the task management tools such as the Task Coach or the MS Outlook. If the activity involves mathematics, maths and data processing that usually involves paper base and calculator. The traditional way is simply make use of paper, calculator, and pen. The digital approach or alternative is making use of spreadsheets and calculators. Tools under this would include spreadsheet, star office, calc, the star office, the math office, the MS, Excel. For the numbers, we can make use of the acrobat.com, we can make use of the note taker by Zoho. We can make use of numbers by using your iPad. We can make use of calculators, the standard and the scientific calculators, or we can have online resources using WebMath or the math board. 
If the activity involves about board games, the digital alternative to this is make use of the RPG and electronic games, such as the Game Maker, the Pop Fly RPG Maker, The Sims Online. If the activity is about timelines or visually representing events, the digital alternative to this is to have an online timeline tools. We have the president, we have the xtimeline.com, we have the timeline.com, timelows.com, timeglider.com, and dpt.com. If the activity is about bibliography and developing bibliography, the digital alternative to this is to make use of the online bibliography tools, such as the online citation tools like the EasyBib, the Landmarks Project Sound of Citation Machine, you have the Zotero, you have the BibMe, you have the Delicious as well. Educational technology is very important, so as digital and non-digital tools. So these are the tools that we use for communication. If we want to develop collaborative skills to our students, tools for inquiry, if we want to develop the critical thinking skills to our students, tools for construction, if we want to develop the creative skills with, to our students. So we always go back to the question, how do digital natives learn? And how do we teachers teach? There are different tools, different media, different languages, and students learn differently outside and inside the classroom. Digital and non-digital technologies have changed the language, the function, the structure, the vocabulary, the context, standards, and outcomes of education. There are so many tools, so many different ways, so many strategies, so many principles, but all of this depends on the readiness of your students to use technology, the readiness of you teachers to use technology inside the classroom and outside the classroom, the readiness of your infrastructure in your schools and the place of where your students will access technology. And of course, the last part is the support of your administration. It's about time that you revisit your own toolbox, teachers, and try to find out what you have in there. It's about time that you fill up your toolbox.